Welcome back to more new Mr. D emblems. So last time we made it through the desert of Gadane, but we were attacked by the Mage Corps, and we were also chased by Astrum and his Arcanean force. And yeah, he was really angry, obviously, because that's what he is. All right. Anyway, we made it to the. We made it to the. I don't know what it actually is. Is it a castle or something, or like a cathedral? I guess we'll find out. Um. Because yeah, I don't really remember that much, but yeah, we're gonna go there in this part. Chapter 10, the two mages. And it's a school of Kadena, okay. But yeah, we're going it's basically a building in Kadena, obviously. But anyway. Kadena is an independent city state, taking orders from no foreign nation. The Archmage has many pontifices under him, governing according to their council. In the previous war, Pontifex Garneth allied with Dola and dragged Cadane into war, and the sea suffered great damage as a result. As Cadane had lost all of its pontifices, Wendell became its archmage and started rebuilding the city. However, Wendell left on a train to fulfill a mission given to him by Gotto. He then left Cadane in the care of two young men. They were two skilled and promising young mages, Merrick and Elria. So this is the school of Kadeen, the center of those who study magic. Indeed, Marv studied, well, Merrick studied here since he was a child. I personally have no magical ability, but as for you, Rohan, you too, hmm? You you're not very good at magic either. Yeah, I'm not really cut out for it. Well, everyone has their own turn, so I won't worry too much about it. But yeah, uh, I have no magic, which isn't a bad thing, considering there aren't any magical axes in this game, so yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I found a board cordax. Oh, <coughs> that again. Okay, so what have we got? So I kind of want to look at that board cordax now. You can check for us. Um, I guess Minerva can. Board cordax. Eight my ninety hit, ten crit. That's actually not too bad actually. It's very easy to use E rank weapons, so that's nice. Also, even has some crew on it already, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's do the chats first before I go out. Shida and Malisha too. Oh. Good day, Princess Shida. Good day, Malisha. I've been thinking about what you told me ever since then. Don't tell me you're planning to wed Marv. Yeah. How did he know? I'm so embarrassed. Hey, Malisha. If I wonder if you're aware that Marv happens to be engaged. He's also from engaged. Yes, Sir Chicken told me. But said this Prince Smurf, I'm sure he has deep reasons. I shall keep on waiting for him always. I see. Good luck. Thank you for his support, Princess. I'll do my best. I couldn't tell her I'm the one he's engaged to. However, I must let this misunderstanding last any longer. I have to ch I have to make a listen next time. I also feel kind of bad for Shia too, because Moth isn't engaged because you know all the jokes you can make about that by anyway, Vina and Rome. Hey, what are you doing here alone? I'm getting some extra training in. Hmm, don't you get tired from training all the time? I need to do it to become stronger. Hmm. Hey, now that I've had a good look at you, are not actually that bad looking on But you don't have much of a fashion sense, you're just like Navarra in that way. Here, check me out, my clothes are cute, aren't they? See how they float in the wind? You won't be popular with the girls unless you're fashionable like I am. I'd rather focus on my training facts. Sigma Rohan? Oh no. <laughs> it's actually that line. Actually, I don't really like the way you dress. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with the way I dress? Tell me, don't you find it cute? It's too thin and you're not properly covered. <laughs> yeah, this is Sigma Rohan over here. I'm not covered? Oh, so you like, so you like what you see then? Rohan, you rascal. Um, no, that's not what I meant. I just thought it wasn't suitable for battle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you embarrassed? Oh, you're so cute. I'm not cute. Excuse me. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, that's not normally how I act. That's a treasure, but anyway. Serious or Rohan? So serious. So Rohan, was it? I was most rude to you the other day. Please forgive me. I can see from the way you fight that you're, that you're a true knight. No, the fall is not yours. Please raise your hand. I deliberately provoked the fight so that I could test you. It is I who was at fault. I wish to ask for your forgiveness. What? So serious, why are you? 
Your actions the other day were virtuous and the thing for night. I know a man who brought forth great tragedy because he's unable to do what you did. So serious? Saron, I'll answer the question you asked the other day. My true name is... No, Sir Sirius, do not concern yourself. I'm sure I'd be better off not knowing your true identity, right? Uh, I've come to understand you thanks to that encounter. Indeed, there's no way someone Prince Marth except it could be an evil man. So, Rowan. So, Sirius, I'm counting you from now on. I'm a new dog. Interesting. Catch him, Rohan free. Say, Rohan, have you been... Have you been overdoing it lately? What do you mean? I admire you for so fervently protecting Prince Marth, but you've been pushing yourself beyond your limits. Catcher, it looks like I couldn't hide it from you after all. Our enemies are becoming strong, but protecting Prince Arthur is not easy. However, I promise you this, no matter what happens to me, at least Prince Arthur will be... I'm not worried about Prince Marth, I'm worried about you. If you surrendered your life, even if to protect him, I'm sure he would be distraught. That's... yeah. You're right. I might have been taking things too far. No matter what happens, I'm here if you need help. They're comrades after all. Got it. Thanks, Katra. You're my gratitude. It's okay. You've already helped me too, Arthur. Hey, Rohan. Hmm? You see, there's something that was bothering me for a long time. Something I couldn't tell anyone. A forbidden feeling. A terrible burn deep within my chest. I could do nothing to alleviate. I hated it. It was horrible. If you want to talk about it, I'll listen. Thanks, but right now I feel a little better. I believe it's probably thanks to you. Me? You have always been on my side. We'll talk and laugh- we talk and laugh together. We talk about Prince Moth and about each other. And as we did, little by little, my pain lessened. As time passes, then maybe, someday, I'll be able to forget it entirely. Huh? I don't really get it. That's fine, you don't need to. Anyway, thank you, Rohan. Now we got a speed bond. I don't I don't know if I talked about what those do yet, but basically they're like tonics. They give you a stat boost for the next snap, basically. So yeah, current stats chapter 10. Who would have thought David Cadet would be our enemy? I'm sure this revelation caused Prince Marth no small pain. What has the world come to? Not only does Harden attack us, but even Cadet and our safest allies in this era. Sir Merrick, a close friend of the prince, is here in Cadet's sanctuary. So it's a sanctuary, okay. I'm sure that truth will become clear once they're inside the building. And now we've got Elrian. So Rohan, Merrick told me much about you. How, before becoming a knight, you spent your days training in Altea Castle. Yes, I still remember the days when I fought together with my fellow knights in training. I see, with your companions, that's wonderful. Are all your companions now Altea knights? No, one of them became our enemy. But I don't want to fight over puzzle, that's how I feel. Indeed, there's nothing sad than finding your former comrades. I have no love for comfort, especially between comrades who are supposed to learn and grow together. Sorohan, I too wish to stop the fine between my disciples, that's how I feel. Di disciples, do you mean some Merrick? Once upon a time I had two brilliant young disciples, one was Merrick, the other was Elrin. However, for some reason, Elrin grew to despise Merrick and the two are now fighting in Cadet. Sorohan, I must go to Elrin and bring an end to this battle. So yeah. We need Wendell on this map, so I probably I mean this works still because Wendell's here, so yeah. Means I can't break Edsel, but that's okay. Because I can't prefer Edsel over Wendell. And that is also a pretty nice treatment to bring along, so yeah. Okay, we'll go with these units. Then we get Palace Pro now. We're gonna take much of that. So let's do some inventory stuff. So Marth, I don't know if he wants the Virgo or someone else. Um Like, yeah, maybe Pala wants the Burko. I think I will give it the Burko. But yeah, Marth could also make use of it because it would make him like easier to train on a map like this. Let me see. What about Javelins? Yeah, I can basically... I didn't actually get a King's Javelin. See, I'll do that. He also has a 9 x too. That's what the Sagittarius 2, which I can give to someone who wants better accuracy. I'm probably going to give it to, um... My accuracy is actually pretty good. I'll give it to Roger, because I don't think he needs both the Scorpio and the Leo anymore, so yeah. He still has E-Rank, so yeah, we can't really do much about that, but yeah. I'll give him the Scorpio, hold on, the Scorpio, the Sagittarius. 
I'll keep him as a hunter for this map, even though I don't need to technically. I could make him a cav. Because then you'll be able to reach the enemies easier, and you'll also be able to use this good um, lance rank. Ah oh, no, I'll keep those on top. It's just that, yeah, I feel like for the next couple of maps, Hunter's gonna be better, so yeah. But yeah, one thing I can do is the Gemini. He also got the Capricorn last map, so yeah, I'll give him. I think he wants the Leo, so I'm gonna give him the Leo. <clears throat> and then. She does, she can become a Cavagun, which will be nice, because I can use the Lady Sword again. And not the up. Um, I can give her the Lady Sword, and I can give her the Gemini. Yeah, I'll give her the Gemini. We have the Taurus too. Um, but yeah, Pala doesn't need the Taurus anymore, so I'm gonna give... Actually, I'll give it to Roger. Actually, if I'm gonna do that, I probably should give him the Gemini then. See, I'll do that. So I'll do that. <laughs> Make Sheeta even more bulky. Um, I could... Hmm, I do wonder if he wants the Scorpio. Because again, my units are kind of fast, so you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Make sure you rely on doubles and stuff. And he also got the Capricorn, which yeah, it's pretty obvious that Linda wants that, so I'm gonna do just that. And there's still no for too for later in the game because it's gonna be very strong later in the game. Now she has plus three magic, very good. Definitely give a plus four if I want, but I think the Gemini strip boost is better, so yeah. I don't see the V stop in this up, it's actually quite useful, but I'm gonna play the map slowly, so I don't think we need to have it around so yeah. But anyway, yeah, let's go back into the class, you know, like I said. I also look at um yeah, I'll make our cap good. Yeah, 14 defense, that's really good. And yeah, 11 strength too, that's gonna be very useful. Uh, low HP is a little bit of a issue though. And then Roger, of course this Cavalier. Which, yeah, that's actually pretty decent, to be honest. And yeah, he gets, gets to keep the sword, all of the sword and the lance rank in here. He's also not too bad as an armor knight, but yeah, I would like to use him as an armor knight. But yeah, as you probably set on a map like this, maybe not the wisest choice. So yeah, why not? I'll keep it on. And he lost the pure, which actually might be useful. But uh, he's actually not really fine that much in this map because of how it's going to play out, so yeah. And yeah, let me just check Sirius 2. Sirius is fine. Roger's fine. Wendell. Oh yeah, that's one thing we want to do. And that is reclass him too. But. Uh, not to the most obvious class though. We're going to make him a Jericho. Because um, he can fly over the middle of the map basically. So yeah, let me demonstrate. So yeah, this is how this map works. Merrick is going to be here, and here's that Elru dude in the air. See that? He's an enemy. So what we need to do is we need to talk to him with Wendell to make him stop attacking. But before that, we're going to get clear a path for Wendell. So yeah, we can kill these guys. The Flyers can do that pretty easily. Rohan can also do it pretty easily too. Um, but yeah, I think something like this. Then. And then... I'll but yeah, there's another go to this one too, and he mentioned as well. See, we also got a lot of mages, but also some mercenaries too. Kind of random, but yeah. And yeah, a lot of mages too. Though. So yeah, this could also be um, Linda's chance. And yeah, that side looks actually really good for her. But yeah, you may notice these clerics too with the heal stars. You don't want to kill any clerics in this map. They're level 1, so you give them experience, and you get a reward for keeping them all alive. So yeah. Pretty obvious why you want to do that. So yeah, let's do this. We'll have... I don't want to put the there, I think. Julian wants to go down. Same with um, Marth, because the annoying part about this map, and why you might want to use the beast up is this chest, and a chest on the opposite side, and also some chests over here. But Marth can... does have the boots, so he'll be able to get there a little bit quicker, so that'll be nice. But yeah, this map is actually very simple. There's no reinforcements as well, so yeah. In the original Epi 3, it was a little bit weird. Basically, you had to wait 
I think the Clarice actually tried to escape the map, or well, you need to wait for like a certain turn, like turn 20 or something. Then a thief spawns over here and he can then get the reward. Instead, this first you get the reward by finishing the map with all the perks that I see. Yeah. I remember it being a little bit different in MD3, so yeah. Anyway, let me because yeah, we're going to be talking about America at the start of the map, obviously, so yeah. And I think I want to put... yeah, Catcher here. Catcher is going to kill the monastery, so yeah, we'll do that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to give Catcher a axe, because she's going to be one of my triggers. Maybe even my only trigger, but we'll see. Because of how things fail, because yeah, she might become a paladin. Catcher might actually become a falcon knight, so yeah. And then your pal is a Draco, obviously, so yeah. Might as well try and see if we can do anything about the axe rank. What's that long? Sorry, yeah, it's maxed out, so yeah. I say it's alright. And your Roger. I probably want Roger on the other side, to be honest. Maybe you can get some kills on these guys, we'll see. But yeah. And while we're here, we're gonna go to the drill grounds too. Can't forget about that, because it's pretty decently useful. This time I'm sending Julian, because Julian is actually not as strong as, um... I don't think he's as strong as Roger at this point, because Roger has the boost and growth rate, so yeah. And a nice dodge from him. But yeah, I probably should use the F tier here, but that's okay. Yeah, anyway, level up. More strength, that's good. And defense too. And now, he actually destroys this thief, so yeah. So do that. There you go. He does have the Taurus hopping out too, so yeah. There's that as well. And... Hmm. 12, 20... Let's see it. 12, 24 faces. Yeah, he actually wins this, I think. Because he doubles this guy. Because, yeah, there you go. <laughs> A free win streak, very nice. Front Julian. And that's pretty good. More defense is actually quite nice. And yeah. <laughs> Silver Sword Merc. Nope. Alright, let's save the game now. I don't think I want to forge. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to. There's anything that's coming to mind that I want to forge. So yeah, like... Alright, let's actually go to this map. Merc, it's time to put an end to this. Wait, Elrian, why do we have to fight? We are both Master Wendell's people, so friends, are we not? Why do you despise me so? I was Master Wendell's disciple before you, and I was the stronger one. Even so, Master Wendell gave you a scarlet. You should have given it to me. Clearly, I was the only one worthy to be a successor, yet he... But I have no intention of succeeding, Master Wendell. I have no ill feelings for Kadeem, but once I finish studying, I plan to go home. Back in our tier, there's somebody must protect for the rest of my life. So, Arian, please, why didn't you join us so we could take back Altair? Altair, you'd say? Why should we help a country that rebelled against the Empire and attempted to evade their fair nation? The Mage Corps of Cadane has sworn allegiance to Emperor Hard. Oh, I see. I knew it was you. You dragged the Altair army here. No, that's not how it is. Shut your mouth, traitor. I won't listen to your lies any longer. You'll excavate my forum. We'll put them to the test. See, this situation is a little bit dicey, but he does have a yeah, a pure order. I always call it a miracle order. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's two ways you can approach this. You can either um, rescue staff him, that's also a very good idea, or you can use the pure order and look at the scalver so he doesn't crit kill the so yeah. Let's talk about him now. So yeah, Merrick, very good unit, you know, because he has a scalver, obviously. Um, you can also use some of the prologue a little bit too, so yeah. Um, Excalibur's great because we're going to be facing a very annoying enemy type that is weak to wind. It's flying, so yeah. It's weak to bows and wind magic. And yeah, of course, Merrick, he's going to one-shot them. And Excalibur's probably the best way to kill those things because he can do it on the enemy phase. So you can't really do that with a bow. So yeah, basically... On those next couple of maps, they're basically food to give Merrick a lot of EXP, so yeah. Now here's the thing, unfortunately for me, I miscounted horribly. 
and I wanted to use Merrick, but the problem was I miscounted very horribly, and yeah, that means I won't be able to use him, because you're allowed 12 units maximum, so unfortunately I miscounted by 1. I think it might have been because of Fina, so that was an oopsie by me, because there's one of a magic unit I really want to show off in this game, and yeah, it should be pretty obvious who that is if you know the cast of this game. But anyway, but yeah, I've used Merc a ton in this game, I love using him. He's just as... I wouldn't say he's as good as Shadow Dragon because he joins later, but because he can be very easily trained, he's still really good. So yeah, despite the fact that he joins something, comparatively. But yeah, I don't think he's as good as Linda though, because Linda joins so much earlier. That's just what I think, but anyway. Let's talk about his growth rates now, they're still pretty decent. 70 HP, 0 strength, 40 magic, 65 skill, 65 speed, um, 70 luck, 15 defense, and 15 res. And yeah, if I haven't already mentioned it yet, you, can't, you may want to keep him as a mage for as long as possible, because his magic growth will go down by 10 when he promotes, so yeah. Kind of a weird thing that happens, but yeah, it happens to every mage. So yeah, I'm gonna use the Pilota. And now we're gonna clear a path. So, Rohan's gonna kill a bishop for us with the. He has to use a steel axe, but that's okay. Um, yeah, the 30 uses steel axe as well. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't wanna, you know, have two weapons that are like broken to bits and stuff, anyway. That's good. Now we're gonna use capture to cut the other one with the iron hands. And then, Paola is going to kill the last one, with the Iron Hands, the Merc, so yeah. We could go for a dance and kill this guy, actually. It's a possibility. Actually, no, you can't reach that, so yeah. Yeah, let's just use the um, Iron Axe and kill this guy so we can get the Axe rank. Because why not? <laughs> And there we go, I believe she's getting a lot of crap because of the support, so yeah. And we got another killing edge, so yeah, once one can see we can try using it. Anyway, so now there's Wendell, there he is. Wendell can go like here, and then he can go regret that. Next turn, no problem. But yeah, you can't do that obviously in the original game because, um, I guess I'll dance for Roger. But yeah, Roger, I don't think I want to get experience on him. But yeah, I have him now as an option, so yeah. It might be Sheeta actually, because Sheeta... Oh no. I feel like Sheeta's actually the harder one to train at this point, just because, um... Her lower strength, so yeah. But yeah, once she promotes though, I don't think it'll be an issue, so yeah. And then yeah, Linda's gonna go over there. I probably should have barriered, because again, it's very useful in this set, and yeah. Now the long walk begins. But yeah, the Julian doing well on the drill grounds though, that's no issue, so yeah. And I'll get Sirius's help here just in case. So let's see what happens. So here's Elrian. I won't lose to someone like Merrick. Anyone who sides with him is my enemy. Thunder, strike them down, four on. But yeah, as you see there though, because of his damage, if he does crit Merrick, Merrick dies, so yeah. That's very annoying, but anyway, unfortunately, yeah, we get to a cure. So yeah, I can also dance for, um... I can dance for... Militia and heal, um... I can also barrier and she can use a blurry, that's an option, so yeah, maybe I'll do that. I think it's the wiser thing to do, so let's do that. And now, we have a mage. And the Merc. And again, we're gonna avoid killing the clerics because there's no reason to. So yeah, we'll do. Uh, do I want to do that? He will come in and attack us. Is the issue? Oh yeah, and he have all anyway. So will we live? Oh yeah, she has a lot of fun. So yeah, other other wall will definitely live. So yeah, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna go over here. Actually, I don't have a pull. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> um, let me check the damage. So, yeah. We have 14 defense, I do believe. So, he's doing 2 damage. And this guy 
is doing uh, nine damage. I think it's a Colosseum. That was a mistake, my god. I should have been paying better attention to my inventory, but that's okay. I could get Roger in there, but he, of course. But the problem with making a bow unit is, yeah, that. But anyway, now Wendell's gonna stop this fight over here. Because they haven't made him fly on the side. Aria, what are you doing? Master Wendell? You still don't understand my decision, do you? Indeed, as a mage, your power surpasses mine. But you lack compassion. That is why I did not agree to Excalibur. Compassion? I had decided that you were to be my successor when the time came. To think you would harbor a grudge towards me, does that, does that not make you the same as Garnev? The same as Garnev? Teacher, what are you saying? Elria, listen to me. Garnev, along with Pontifex Lerva, Lord Gotto's best peoples. But Lord Gotto saw Garnev's sweetness, so he left Cadena the Orator to Pontifex Lerva. Garnev, overcame, overcome by jealousy, stole the dark sphere from Lord Gotto and created the Imbulutor. As a result, his heart was trapped within the dark set for all eternity. Wrath and envy led him to ruin. Do you understand now, Elria? Teacher. Teacher, I'm so sorry. I was wrong. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Elrin, you will use that power of yours for the good of the people, understand? See ya, there we go. Here he is. So, Elrin is worse Merrick, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, he does have good base magic compared to Merrick, but the problem is, is he can't use Excalibur, and it's going to take him a little while because he has Searing, which means he's not as used to train. He can use Shiva though, so yeah, if you want to do the same, like, killing that annoying enemy type thing, you can use Shiva, but Shiva of course is weaker, so that's an issue. But yeah, you can still use some if you want, but again, it's going to feel like you're using a lesser Merrick for a while, so yeah. He does have a really good magic growth though. Apparently. So, yeah, let's go with that. He has 80 HP, 0 strength. Actually, no. Um, he has the same magic growth, never mind. Um, let's go with those growths. Properly now, 80 HP, 0 strength, 40 magic, 50 skill, 45 speed, 30 luck, 25 defense, and 10 risk. I take five guys, some of his growth rates. They're also not as good as Merc, so uh, yeah. Again, he's a lesser Merc. There isn't much to it than that. So, yeah. So, what are we gonna do? So, we need a of course, protect Wendell. But yeah, we can just put a unit here and be fine. Ooh, what's the deal? I'll put Catra here. And I'll put, like, Rohan here, maybe. There's a mage there. And then the Merc there. I'll probably put Rohan here. Then. With the Steel Axe, and then your Merc will be here. Better one, Pella. I'm not so sure yet. But yeah, let's not forget these two. I do like pressing the Elbon, I think it is, to, you know, go for my units. Yeah, let me be cut. Let's stay out of range that like, for the time being. We'll kill it on the player face, I think. Because again, the defense isn't very good. I'll have Pala maybe help that too. And then Julian, he's gonna make this one. These treasures are actually really good, so yeah, definitely get them, obviously. But yeah, she already has pretty decent res because of the, um... Best realize too, that HP is a lot better than Shida, so yeah, I really should give Shida the angelic growth, so yeah, I'll probably do that. But anyway, L5 is 10 damage, and you should be able to get it. So there we go. But yeah, Aaron is actually quite interesting though. I think I always actually call him heroes, but yeah, I think it's Arlen, but anyway. Um, but yeah, he's interesting because he yeah, has all the. Wendell was pointing out how what he's doing is very similar to what Garnet is doing, so yeah. And then, yeah, he saw the Arab's ways, and then, yeah, now he's going to be fighting with us, so yeah. It's actually kind of interesting, to be honest. He's definitely not a bad character, although I haven't used him because, well, I kind of. It should be pretty obvious by how I describe it as a unit. It's like, yeah, why use him when I can use Merrick? And yeah, I really enjoy using Merrick in this game too, so yeah. But anyway, so we got another one. But yeah, we can heal Shida. With the Admin stuff. But yeah, I really should give Shida a rogue. But anyway, magic is good to see on Leisha. But yeah, now we can go in a little bit with the Shadow. 
make sure don't collect them. And yeah, we'll see what Roger can do on this map. Not much, because again, there's no reinforcements and we can't already done with this map. We're gonna be done with this map very soon, so yeah. The yeah, cool thing is, though, is that Rohan can go to the drill grounds next map and he promotes, so yeah. If I wanna grow a level 20, which yeah, I like doing that, so. Okay, this guy, he's a bit annoying to be at, so. It should be captured, does it? What about the mage? Okay, the mage can't move, so we could do this. Okay, kill that merc, and then I'll be able to get the kills with Linda, so that'll be nice. Linda will also be nice for the next map. Oh yeah, there's a guy that jumped in this map. But I keep forgetting to talk about this, but I think it's actually related to the clerics, so you should be getting it anyway. And that is... Keep at least three clerics alive. Yup, I was right. So, as long as you're going after the clerics, as long as you're keeping them safe for the item you get, you're gonna go to the guy. So yeah, no problem. Then. And yeah, these three, I guess they can like, chill out together. <laughs> but yeah, he has the Ares 2 plus and Scud plus one. Good for your hit rate, I guess. But anyway. So she's going to take a lot, but good thing I'm her. There we go. The um, thing I'm tired of course is the clerics have physics, so that can be a bit annoying. Because you have to deal with that with the whole map, basically. Anyway, this guy needs a fire tome, so yeah, no problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might actually give that to Roger, because Roger is 99 experience, so that means he's got the blood. So you catch her. Very nice, got another Merc. Islands broke. Okay, they are getting healed, but that's okay. The end problem is where position. There you are. Let's go back here, let's heal again. Why not? Alright, Roger. Let's kill this guy with the IMO. And yeah, I'm killing that guy, so that's good. And there we go. So yeah, that's another major gone. That is one of the last of these left in the map, so yeah. Hey, Roger with his basic growth rates. Yep, there you go. Even got rules, very nice. Um, and Linda, she has 16 left. Yeah, that guy's on fire, so she'll be fine. I think that's the last of the map, so yeah. So, do I want to do anything with her. She probably wants to go up the Mars so that we can seize and end this act quicker. See, that's what we're going to do. See so, ya. Yeah. And um, actually, if I want to do that, I want to go over, like, around here, basically. See so, ya. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I think that's the last thing on the map, and yeah, we're going to be done with this map. See so, ya. Yeah. I can use the save point too, just in case I do something stupid and actually kill a cleric for whatever reason. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. That guy is done so. And the cleric moved up. <laughs> um, let's look at the map. Yep, there's no enemies left. So, here yeah, we have a silent stuff. This is actually pretty powerful. Um, how do I check it? There we go. Press minus, basically. A special staff that seals all magic from a turn. Very interesting. Uh, what's its rank again? B rank, okay. So yeah, it's quite a high ranking stuff, but yeah, as you probably expect, that's actually pretty strong, but you be careful, it seals your own magic, so yeah. But yeah, on a magic fo focused map though, that could be very strong. I do know some maps later on in the game, but that could be potentially very good, so yeah. You definitely want to remember that stuff. In lunatic mode, it's replaced by recover stuff, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. Because the yeah, lunatic mode, um, it replaces some items, let's just say, so yeah. Over here is an unlock staff. C rank staff that allows you to open locked doors, very nice. But the only problem is, is that unlike GBA, there's no troubadour class in this game, so it's a little bit more, you know, annoying. And yeah, Marth is going to open the last chest in the map, so yeah, he's basically the only unit left that matters, so yeah. It's something that you can feed who can dance with us, so yeah. And then we're gonna be done with this one. So yeah. 
very simple map. And one thing about this map too is, is that I wonder why Ash doesn't spawn as a reinforcement. Like, lore-wise, gameplay-wise, it makes sense because he would be extremely annoyed to deal with. Um, but yeah, he could very well chase you in here, but I guess maybe the mage core is stopping him. Recurring Aerorian, I can definitely see maybe helping with that, so yeah. I mean, I do believe the moth can cross the water, so yeah, there's no problem there. But yeah, one thing I haven't really talked about much is the music. I love this track. Again, I gush about the music because it's FV3 <laughs> or FV12. This is a good map theme. And yeah, it's gonna be the main map theme for a little bit, and then yeah, the last couple in the game, they're gonna be amazing. So yeah, Fina gets another great level up because that's what she does. Hit those very nice growth rates. Now, the problem is, I don't think she can do much else for Marth. So we're just gonna put it here. Because, yeah, she can't cross this border. But what she can do is she can dance for Marth, like around here, basically. So yeah. Let's get this physics stuff. Another one's very nice to have If we get C-rank on, like, Edsel or something, that'd be great. And we got Boolean Large, so we can maybe forge with that. But there are gonna be some secret shots coming up that I can't let buy from so yeah. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Again, this is a very simple map. Especially if you recruit Elrion very quickly like I did. It definitely trivializes it a little bit, so yeah. Let's season from this map. And there you go, very simple, easy map. So I rescued the cleric star friend by the enemy. Excellent, good work, Rohan. As thanks, they've offered to give us this. So yeah, you get the silver card. So yeah, the silver card. A card that allows the bearer to purchase weapons items at half price. Very, very useful. Um, what happens on lower tip mode though? Um, this is the most infamous change in that difficulty. You get a vulnery. A vulnery. A vulnery. <laughs> it best repeat it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, lower tip mode is quite evil. If you couldn't tell already. Anyway, guess who's back on Skype? <laughs> Moth, do you hear me? Well, got to. Yes, I can. You're speaking to me through Skype, are you not? <laughs> I love that joke. It's if you didn't if you didn't see my um, Shadow Dragon playthrough, it's a joke my brother came up with. So yeah, when he was playing this, when he's playing these two games, basically. Well, got to. I must ask, what has happened to cause Han to suddenly change so much? Hmm, the Darkster is the culprit. Han and Sol is trapped within the Darkster. The dark set? What on earth is that? Light, star, earth, life, and darkness. In this world there exist five secret orbs. The dark set is that which complements the light sphere. In battle, it possesses the enemy's mind, they gain their attacks. But the dark set also amplifies wrath and envy and can turn its owner into a demon. Harden must have obtained the dark set for somewhere and now his heart has been lost to it. But why? He should have been happy after this union with his beloved Princess Nina, so why the envy? Prince, humans are never simple creatures. In any case, the only object that can overcome Harden's dark sphere is the light sphere. If you want to do something about him, then you have best come and get it from him. Huh? Really, Lord Goto? If you have the light sphere, then we can save Harden. Well, if his heart is not completely consumed, then perhaps. Lord Goto, please lend the light sphere to me. If you, could, if you come and purse the Ice Dragon Shrine where I reside, then you shall have it. But that will be no easy task. So, Moth, do you have the courage to walk the path that Henri walked? Yes, I do. I'll go. Please allow me to go. I must have the light spin. Rohan, may I have a word? As this army strategist, I've been observing each and every of our battles. If I were to sum up your recent style of fight, I would say... Most impressive to the end. All of your comrades support each other and he fires on so as to not lose each other. With Prince Arthur as our core and your support, we shall not falter. It's an honor, Sir Jacob. Also, there's this person. <laughs> this is Maris, and as she's called in Heroes, Malice. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? I came here because I heard Mars Group was passing by that, um, bum. Sorry, who are you? I am Malice, a mercenary and not a cheap one. I'd like to ask you something. Is your prince okay with paying gold? 
Oh, of course. It's okay if I had to wait until this war server. So, um, if you have paid us, say, 509 gold for our services, that ought to do, I think. Huh? If it's only that much, the Prince of Arthur Gally played. Gee, the rims are true. He's completely different from all our employees up till now, right, Pops? He is different. Looks like we hit the jackpot code to this desert. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dice. On behalf of the both of us, it's great to be in your service. So you get those two, you get them no matter what, actually. If you don't go to the guide, they still come to you, so yeah. We'll talk about them in the next part because they're kind of interesting. But anyway, Sire, we just received new information. It concerns the Assassin's movements. Lord Horus, who fought to ally, who, yeah, who fought to ally with us, is in peril. Lord Horus? Rohan, Lord Horus is an Arcanine Knight in Princess Nina's service. He was our ally. And also gave Nina some more screen time, which is awesome. Lord Horus, I am Martha Valtier. I'll ask that you lay down your arms. Is, Prince, is Princess Nina safe? We cannot abandon Lord Horus. Jake and Rohan, let's hurry. So yeah, that's it for Chapter 10. See you next time on 10x. We're going to be talking about uh, Malice and Dice. And I'm going to be playing 10x like no one has ever done before. So... Look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.